Hey guys, today we have Carlinkit 4.0. I know some of you were waiting for this device since this uh, supports wireless Android Auto. So we are going to test it here in Goldmark 7 and um, I'm going to share with you my opinion about this, pros and cons and other things that I've noticed over the past two months, I believe, that I've tested uh, this device in my vehicle. So in the box we will have user manual, we will have the device and we have two USB cables. Uh, one is standard USB to USB-C and the other one is USB-C to USB-C for the most uh, recent vehicles which are not featuring the old USB port. And the device itself is pretty small. We have a USB-C port over here at the top. We have standard USB port over here at the bottom. This uh, standard port is for, for firmware updates only, I believe. And uh, this strap over here is actually an LED indicator. And the whole device is bluish, I have to say. And it has this carbon like structure. Actually, over here I have the previous one, Carlinkit 3, and you can see that it's the same shape and size, but the old one is just glossy black, piano black. I actually like the old one a little bit more when it comes to the design, but nevertheless, let's check this out. The installation is very easy. All we have to do is plug in the USB cable over here to the device and the other end goes into the USB port in your vehicle. And as soon as you connect it, you have to wait about 15 or 20 seconds. And the only requirement for this device to work in your vehicle is wired CarPlay. So if you can connect your iPhone with a USB uh, cable and you have CarPlay, well, you can use this wireless uh, uh, adapter, yeah? We can already see that the device is uh, booting up. I have my phone paired to it, uh, so it will automatically connect with my phone and in a couple of seconds we should see the um, CarPlay interface on the display. So keep in mind that if your vehicle is not equipped with CarPlay, it's not CarPlay ready, you will not uh, have much fun with this device as this is a wired to wireless adapter. Okay, we can already see that the CarPlay interface is over here. So let's check how this works. There are six input methods that I always check. The first one is touch. The touch is working over here without any issue. The second thing is the control knob, control wheel, and we can see that it's working as well. Maybe let's go to music. And the third thing, maybe let's play something. Okay, um, uh, third thing is the steering wheel next and previous buttons. So let's check how this works. We can see that the interface is reacting, reacting pretty fast, but we have some sound buffering. So there's a delay between the moment you press the button and the moment you actually hear the song um, uh, to switch to another one. Let's check if fast forward is working. So let's press and hold over here and it's not working so this feature is not included and um, other two things are uh, voice assistant related so let's press and hold over here what time is it right now in dubai it's 16.01 in dubai the united arab emirates okay and now without the button so let's trigger it with my voice hey siri what's the weather like in tokyo japan it's currently partly cloudy and 14 degrees in Tokyo, Japan. So five out of six, we cannot uh, use the fast forward feature over here, but other than uh, that, everything is working correctly. Now let's perform a simple range test. I'm going to take my phone with me. The vehicle is on. My phone is connected to the um, CarPlay interface and I'm going to stand over here in the back of the vehicle near the trunk this is as far as i would go with the vehicle still on yeah so right now i'm going to resume the playback and check if it's actually yeah it's actually working so this is my simple range test and curling kit 4.0 pass now let me show you some advanced settings i hope that you can see this so when you are connected with the device 
and you go to your web browser and enter this IP address of the device, you will have some advanced settings over here. You can see the uh, statistics, you can see the serial number, you can uh, force um, uh, update uh, firmware update over here and send some feedback if you have some issues or requests um, about the device you have also the manage tab where you can see all the phones that are um, stored and paired with the um, adapter you yeah. have wi-fi and bluetooth name which you can adjust over here change the language and you have advanced settings over here where you can um, turn on and off a couple things you can adjust the start delay so if the device is booting quicker than your main unit you have you can have some synchronization issues yeah so the radio is not ready yet because it's booting up and the device is already booted up and they cannot see each other you can adjust the boot delay over here to make the device actually a little bit slower I have it set to six seconds over here since my device <coughs> here in Golf Mark 7 is pretty old and it take it takes some time some time to um, boot up properly and be ready to uh, connect you also have the gps pass through option over here which i um, love and this is one of my favorite feature in all of the uh, wired to wireless adapters what this does it takes the gps position from the vehicle this car is equipped with gps satellite navigation and it uh, it's passing it through via the carplay interface to my phone so when I'm connected uh, with CarPlay and I'm using GPS navigation as I would over here, for example, um, the position on the map over here is actually not the phone's position, but the vehicle's position. This means that the internal GPS receiver in the phone is not used, which preserves the battery and also it has um, the car's uh, GPS receiver has higher accuracy since uh, the vehicle is not only relying on the GPS signal but also it takes uh, the uh, steering wheel input and the vehicle speed to estimate current position if the GPS signal is low. So this option gives you not only better battery life on your phone, which is uh, very important, especially when you are using wireless connection and you are not charging your phone, but also it gives you higher accuracy of the uh, GPS position. So you know that I'm an iPhone user, but luckily my friend uh, is using Android phone and he allowed me to use his device to check if CarLinkit 4.0 is working correctly with Android Auto. Pairing procedure is very simple. All you have to do is look for the CarLinkit device on your Bluetooth uh, list connect with it and after 10 or 15 seconds you have access to Android Auto interface. I've checked touch, I checked the control knob input, I've also checked the voice input both from the steering wheel and by the OK Google feature and all of those features are working working correctly as expected. So let's talk pros and cons of this small device. First of all we have wireless Android Auto as well as wireless CarPlay which is the big deal over here and the installation was very simple plug and play which I very much like you don't have to um, set up uh, anything the boot up time is very high very quick i actually had to uh, increase the boot up delay over here because this device is faster than my main unit small thing but something that matter to me is that it automatically resumes the playback when you reconnect so for example if you are going to leave the vehicle just for a minute maybe you are picking something up or you are paying for your um, uh, petrol and you get back in the vehicle start it again it will connect uh, to your phone automatically and it will resume the playback which uh, you left off when you uh, shut down the vehicle minute earlier this device is very small so it will easily fit inside most of the uh, storage compartment and i also like that the usb cable over here is so short so you don't have this one meter long uh, cable which you have to tuck in somewhere over here and it will take most of the space actually you have a lot of space over here even with the device hidden i could even fit my phone here i believe and now cons first of all I had some connections, uh, connection issues with the device, but to keep it fair, it was on an experimental firmware. Carlinkit was nice enough to send me a firmware that was not released yet. I've tested it and, well, it was not ready. So my advice is, if the device in your vehicle is working, 
don't update it. There's no need to um, uh, to update it. And in my case, it made it a little bit worse even. But uh, luckily, there's a simple rollback procedure which you can use from your phone from the advanced settings menu or with USB stick if you have the firmware um, uh, somewhere on your drive. Other than that, well, <laughs> I don't like the color because it does not match my car's interior, but that's not a huge deal since this device is going to be hidden away. And also, if you are going to use uh, USB cable, let me just disconnect this USB cable other than the provided one, you will find that the USB-C port over here is pretty deep. Oh, you might have a problem with some third-party USB-C cables, just keep that in mind. But still, they are, they are providing two USB-C cables, so that should not be an issue. Well, one more thing, since this is working with both um, CarPlay and Android Auto, you would assume that it will work in vehicles that support Android Auto. But actually this connects with your vehicle pretending to be an iPhone. This is the way that this uh, device um, um, forces your vehicle to work with it. It pretends to be an iPhone and it will uh, get access to the display and so on. So if your vehicle is not supporting CarPlay, it will not work. For example, if you have Reno, uh, Renault Laguna with Erlink system, which uh, supports Android Auto only, this will not work, even though you want to use uh, this device with your Android phone. And um, on the other side, vehicles like Porsche, which does not support Android Auto, wireless, un uh, wired Android Auto, will work with this device, since this pretends to be an iPhone and it will allow you to use Android phone wirelessly in Porsche vehicle, which does not support Android Auto feature. I know this is a little bit complicated, but um, uh, that's something that I've noticed over here and uh, also thought that I should uh, mention it. To wrap it up, uh, you can buy this device currently at the price of 99 uh, US dollars and there's an 18% off code uh, which you can use at checkout it's mr fix and uh, what's else over here the link is in the description below this video and i will also attach link to a comparison chart where i've tested um, uh, previous generation of this device as well as other uh, wireless adapters just so you can check um, uh, what's the difference and uh, how those uh, how this device uh, is standing out uh, when looking at the competition okay so that's it thank you for watching give me thumbs up and see you soon